Check out what you get when you mix some ordinary chocolate with science. Isn't that just beautiful? There's rainbows on the surface. Hey, let me tell you a little bit more about this cool candy treat and even how you can make it yourself. I first started exploring rainbow chocolate when the folks at the Curiosity Box sent me one of their products. There's a bunch of cool stuff inside to explore, and I decided to start with a project where you could put rainbows on your chocolate. The science behind this effect is really quite simple. It makes use of what's called a diffraction grating, which splits white light into all the colors of light. And the Curiosity Box contained a chocolate mold that has a diffraction grating on its surface. So this mold can give you chocolate that creates rainbows. The box also contained a booklet that described chocolate chemistry, as well as some important tips on how to properly melt the chocolate. After I melted it, I poured the chocolate into the diffraction grating mold and left it to solidify. I was very interested to see the results, but I was also curious about two other things. First, I wanted to see if the diffraction gratings I normally use in experiments could also serve as a mold to create rainbow chocolate. But what I really wanted to see was if the wings of blue morpho butterflies could also serve as grating molds for chocolate. You see, the wings of these butterflies kind of act like diffraction gratings. However, these wings amplify the reflection of blue and green light. So I decided to pour some melted chocolate onto these wings just to see. After the chocolate solidified, I removed it from the mold and held it up to a light. And sure enough, you could see flecks of rainbows all through the chocolate bar. And the chocolate that was poured onto the regular diffraction gratings worked really well. I mean, just look at how vibrant this rainbow is. And what about the chocolate that was poured on the butterfly wings? Well, first, it was kind of hard to get the chocolate off of the wings. And once I did, it was kind of hard to see any effect with the naked eye. But if I looked carefully enough, I thought I could see some slight blue reflection. However, by playing around with the camera settings and also adjusting the angle between the chocolate and the light, I could see some substantial blue reflection. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, if you want to get your own curiosity box to try this experiment and a bunch of others, check out the link in the description. And if you use the link, it'll provide support for this channel. Happy experimenting, everybody.